here's our first example of drawing field lines. A positive charge 2.5 Q is held on a horizontal plane and a positive charge of Q is held above or north of it. Sketch the electric field lines to represent the electric field around these two charges. So we are going to first place the charges on the picture. The bottom one will be the 2.5 Q and the top one will be Q. Remember that the number of field lines leaving a charge has to be proportional to the magnitude of the charge. In this case, if we make Q four field lines, we have to make 2.5 Q 10 field lines, so two and a half times bigger. Next, the field lines have to leave perpendicularly to the charges. So I'm going to draw the beginning of four field lines equally spaced and perpendicular to my little charge for my top charge and for the bottom charge 10 field lines as equally spaced as I can make them and again leaving perpendicularly from the charge. I know that when I'll be far away from either of the charges the electric field will be quite small. The electric field lines have to spread out to infinity. I also know that on the top part of the picture above the charge Q the effect of the 2.5Q is going to be small. I know that on the bottom of the picture, the effect of the charge Q is going to be also small. So, on the edges of the picture, the field is very easy to draw. And you should always draw the easy field lines first, the ones that are on the outside, the ones that are far away from the other charges, the ones that don't represent the net field of two charges. Now it's time to think about the more difficult part of the picture. Well, I know that between the two charges, along the line somewhere, the net field will be zero. That's because the top charge is going to be creating an electric field that's going to be going down, and the bottom charge is going to create an electric field going up. So I know that the vector sum of those fields will be zero. I also know that the place where the net field is going to be zero is going to be a little bit closer to the top charge, then it's going to be to the bottom charge. Left and right of the place where the net field is zero, we can expect the 2.5Q to win, if you will. So its electric field will be a little bit stronger, and the field lines of Q will back up a little bit. It'll be easier when I show you on the next slide. There, now we've drawn the field lines in the middle of the picture. So you see there's an area where the electric field is quite small between the two charges. We drew no electric field lines to show that. And we also show how the field of the 2.5Q is stronger. And in the area left and right of the net field of zero, we can see that the field is going to be pointing left and up and right and up. Finally, positive charges the electric field lines have to point out, and we're done. Spread the joy of physics.